Another example, our A coefficient is greater than 1. So this has to be a split the factor. I know I'm going to be doing this to get my T graph over here. Let's populate our parentheses. The first goes into the first position here. The last, with its sign, goes into the last position. Then we're going to multiply the A term and the C term together. So that would be 30. And start our factoring. 1 and 30. 2, 15. 3, 10. 4, no, 5 and 6. There we've overlapped. We can stop. All right. Coming back, we're gonna, we've split this middle. We're going to be splitting it, so, our, so x's have to go in those positions as well. All right, so now we're looking for something that adds or subtracts to 7. So we have 28 or 20, 29 or 31. 2 no. and 15. If we add, we get 17. If we subtract, we get 13. Add 13, subtract 7. There we go. 3 and 10. And I'm not sure which order they go into, so I'm just going to place them. 3 and 10. Now we're going to look at our signs. We have to have a negative last term. The only way we can get that is different signs. And we need a negative 7 with a 3 and a 10. So the larger numeral has to be negative in order to give us a negative 7 when we subtract. So negative, positive. That's the, my best guess at this point. Now we're going to actually do our greatest common factor from these two pieces. A 6 and a 3, a 3 will divide into both. So I'm going to take a 3, and there are x's in each of the terms. I'm going to take a 3x out of this, which simplifies it to 2x plus, this is completely gone. So I'll memorialize it in here so I can get it back with a 1, because 3x divides into 3x one time. Next one, I can take out a negative 5. Both, I have negative terms on both of them. So this is going to be a negative 5. And when I do that, I'm left with 2x. And negative 5 goes into negative 5 one time. So that would be once. It's a positive one because I've already matched this perfectly. The only way to get a negative 5 back when I factor, or when I distribute, is a negative times a positive. So now these two that are in the parentheses match. That's what I wanted. So 2x plus 1 comes out. I've now finished this one and this one. And the factors that I pulled out couple together and make the other parenthesis. So this is 3x minus 5. Those are the factors. That's the answer. But I want to check it to make sure I didn't make any mistakes with my positive and negative signs. I just want to be sure. So this will factor back. So this is my check. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 1 is plus 3x. Done with the first term. I'm going to go under now. Negative 5 times 2 is a negative 10x. And negative 5 times 1 is a negative 5 negative 5. 
Here's a subtraction with a 7x, copy the sign of the larger numeral, which is negative, and 6x squared. 6x squared minus 7x minus 5. It checks. The answer to the problem is here. It asked for the factors, and those are the factors.